What's up everyone? Happy Wednesday. So the ride is a little bit late tonight because uh, I've been doing real estate stuff all day and it's been absolutely insane. The market uh, with the rates coming up uh, has uh, seems like made a frenzy. So uh, we're over here. It's car night. We're just finishing up car night over here. Um, got some hot rods here. Nice little uh, notchback Mustang, Fox body right there. We got a little Nova over there, Nova 2 wagon, Kyle Super Sport in the back. Uh, I don't know what else is down there. Um, so we're over here at the car show, riding a bike. So this is about 5.8 miles from my house. So I figured, you know what, let me ride my bike to the car show, go we'll see some cars, get you in a message. And uh, that's it. So message of the day. So sometimes I think in life, uh, we need to pull back in order to go forward. So I had a listing that I had up for sale and showed it, 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 and wasn't getting much action on it. And then um, I lowered the price recently, and I just got an offer above the lowered price back to the original price. So, uh, which is kinda, kinda interesting that all this time I've had it up for sale, multiple people showing it, showing it, showing it, um, not much action. I lowered a little bit and now they bid it back up over where it was. So it's kind of symbolic of life. Sometimes when stuff's not working, we need to back up a little bit. We need to uh, lower the price as they'd say and um, regroup. And that allow us to go further than we were originally trying to go. Um, sometimes I feel like we push so hard that um, we just kind of coming up short and when you regroup you reset uh almost like a bow and arrow when you pull back you get to uh shoot out rather than uh if the bow and arrow is if the bow is already released and you put the arrow in it doesn't go anywhere you got to pull it back in order to make it go and uh that happened uh today uh one of my listings that we lowered uh and now the offer is back to where the original price was so I think that was probably just a sign for me to, to think about stuff like that. Uh, this Fox body over here sounds really good. I don't know if you guys can see that over here. All right, sorry, I got a little sidetracked. So um, so in life, if stuff's not working and you're going, 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 it's not working, maybe time to pull back a little bit. Maybe time to reset. Maybe time to regroup. And uh, you'll be able to go further uh, once you take that pressure off. Um, I feel like when you're... You, there's a lot of pressure on when you're trying to retain something and when you're not getting there you're not getting there you're not getting there the pressure keeps building and you lose the focus and you lose you lose what you're actually working on and when you stop and regroup and reset and come back now uh some of that pressure's gone and now things seem to start getting into flow and uh when you get in flow that's when things happen all right so there's your message of the day if stuff's not working stop pull back and take another run at it all right so let's jump on prayers we never prayed here Pray here with the fox body. Here, I name the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God, help us to know when it's time to pull back. Help us when it's time to regroup. Help us to know when it's time to reset. And uh, help us to know when things aren't working that we need to stop and we need to back up a little bit and take another run at it. If you're uh, trying to get up a hill and you get up almost to the top and you don't get there, you got to back up and take another run at it. And sometimes that's the way things go in life. Today I had to lower a price on a house to get more money than I originally wanted. Um, it's funny how that works. So, um, amen. So, there's a message of the day. We're over here at the car show, King Cullen parking lot every Wednesday night, corner of uh, Jericho and Nassau Boulevard. And uh, Wednesday night, Empire Muscle Cars crew is up here. 
And uh, we got the bike up here. We got my bike on ride up. It's about 5.8 miles from Malvern. And uh, I was halfway through the ride. What's up, Kevin Brady? So, all right. You got your message. Sometimes you got to pull back to go forward. There it is. So, all right, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Hump day is over. Tomorrow's Thursday. Weekend is near. Uh, big open house this weekend. Uh, I got my latest listing. 414 Coleridge in Rockville Center. Saturday, we're going to do an open house. Probably 12 to 2. And... Um, that's a six-bedroom, 3,000-square-foot, three-bath, great room, uh, oversized property, paved for patio. Whole house was redone in 2014. Roof, window, siding, boiler, Navian boiler, tankless boiler. Um, great house. Up there for $1.2 million, $1.199. Um, and it could be yours. It's a one-of-a-kind house. It's pretty cool. There's two stairways to the upstairs um, because uh, there's one area that can be used for an office space or for a nanny housekeeper type thing they have a separate area separate entrance to the back um definitely pretty cool and yeah where's my helmet i think my cleaning lady threw my helmet out honestly i went to texas i came back and it was gone and no one knows what happened to it um but that's what happens so anyway um yeah so saturday 4 four fourteen, uh Coleridge in ruffles center you'll see a post on my wall here if you're looking for a big house i got the house for you it's a lot of house. So, um, and uh, what else we going on? Pretty much everything else is uh, gone. Uh, everything else is going to contract. Uh, Elmont looks like we've got something in the works. Um, lots of good stuff going on. I got a couple offers in on houses. I just got outbid today on a house in Merrick that went 91000 over asking price and we didn't get it. We offered 91000 over asking price and we didn't get it. So the real estate market is hot. With the mortgage rates rising, People are looking to buy something before they get any higher. So if you are thinking of selling, now is the time. I don't know how much more I can say it. As these rates go, people are going to have less buying power, and which is going to make less buyers in the market, especially if you have a more expensive house. So uh, as the uh, as the rates creep up, um, people, there'll be less people who are able to afford houses. There'll be less demand. Less demand is going to uh, equalize the prices. And eventually, I don't know if they'll ever lower them, but I don't see them climbing anymore as the rates climb. Uh, money gets more expensive. It gets more expensive to buy houses. People are going to pay less. So anyway, here's your real estate tip. If you're thinking of selling, now's the time. Let's do this because uh, I don't see them. I don't see the prices holding on and climbing any further with the rates climbing. It's just not going to happen. So, all right. If you need me for anything, Brian Lewis, Brian Lewis team, EXP Realty, 917-509-0506. And there's your commercial break for tonight on We Ride at Dawn. All right, everyone. God bless. Put your hand on the pillow every night knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.